what if I told you that it was only half of the story of what happened on May 5th? During the second time, when the video glitched out along with my laptop, I noticed that my breathing was becoming raspy. I thought it might have been my old allergies or something, but it wasn't. No, my, my throat started to feel a bit tight around my neck, as if someone was trying to choke me, but there were no hands on my throat. And after my computer screen froze, and I tried to use the mouse, but didn't see the mouse cursor, my hands became immobile on the bed. I tried moving them, including my fingers, as if, as if someone was holding down, and also gripping them tightly. But I couldn't move them. And again, no hands were gripping my hands. I didn't know what was going on. But then it happened. As, as some mysterious force made my eyes look towards the screen. And it wasn't the frozen computer screen this time. No. It was Jack's web camera screen. Then, in shock and horror that made the hairs on the back of my neck and arms stand on end, I, I, I realized what I was seeing. I saw Jack's eyes were looking straight toward the webcam. And at me. I knew that it wasn't Jack at first. I, it was him. I started to panic, but I knew in my mind that I needed to get out of his grip and turn off the computer fast. I still knew that my throat was still in a tight grip along with my hands and eyes frozen in place staring towards Jack. No. No, towards anti himself. But I can still move my mouth, so I started to steady my breathing along with my mind. And maybe, just maybe, try to loosen Anti's grip on one of my hands so that I could turn off the laptop. A couple of minutes must have passed and I felt my left hand start to loosen from Anti's grip. With my eyes still frozen in place, looking at Anti, I carefully started to move my hands, slowly feeling for the power button. And as I pressed it, waiting for a couple of seconds, the screen went dark. After that, my hands and neck were completely loosened from, from whatever it was. I coughed hard after being almost choked to death. I also rubbed my neck and wrists to ease the pain. My laptop then suddenly turned on by itself, and like I said, it went back to the video, coming to an end as well. During Jack's outro after saying, like a boss, he places his arms to his sides and once again looks towards the webcam and at me. My eyes once again were filled with fear as Anti smiled and waved at me. He then said, You think this is over? No. This is just the beginning. See you soon, my puppet. The computer shuts down, leaving me looking at the blackened screen. And after a few seconds, I went to my parents' bathroom to take a breather, 
to splash some cold water on my face. Anything to snap me out of it. When I reached the bathroom, I did some breathing, keeping myself calm after my encounter with, with him. It felt good to feel the cold water on my face. And as I was drying my face with a towel, I felt a slight bit of pain in my throat again. As I removed the towel from my face, it turned white with shock and horror, but didn't scream as I was looking in the mirror and realized what I was seeing. A dark, bruised ring had formed around my neck. I looked at my hands and also saw the bruises around my wrists. I then realized what the bruises were. Puppet strings. That was why I couldn't move my hands and my head around. I went to my parents and asked them if they saw anything on my wrists and neck. My mom said, no, we don't. Is everything okay? I just gestured. I'm fine. Just curious. Thanks anyway. I knew that my parents weren't going to see the bruises on my neck and wrists. So I decided simply not to tell them what had happened. I mean, I didn't want to worry or scare them by telling them that I was almost strangled and choked to death by a dark version of one of my favorite YouTubers, but anyway. Uh, the bruises lasted for a week and a half. I checked on them each day until they were gone, um, and that was by the middle of the following week. Even though I was relieved that the bruises were gone, Sometimes I can still feel the strings around my neck and wrists. And just like Anti said, You think this is over? No. This is just the beginning.